Right, now first up tonight we're turning our attention to e-scooters. For many they represent the future, an affordable and green way to travel around our towns and cities. But following a spate of accidents reported in the news this week, Kevin Duala sets out to discover what's needed to make e-scooters safe for everyone. Love them or love them, e-scooters have become a fixture in towns and cities. So I've been here about 10 minutes, I'm in Bristol. And already I've seen about 20 e-scooters whizzing up and down. There you go. Bristol is one of around 30 places in England taking part in trials, where riders can rent government-approved e-scooters to use in designated areas. And although in two years, 400,000 people have signed up to use them here, the trial hasn't been without controversy. What are your thoughts on e-scooters? The problem is two, sometimes three on one e scooter Three? Three on one e-scooter. They're easily accessible, affordable, environmentally green transport, but there's quite a lot of controversy about their usage and the fact that they're silent. On a bus, I have to get off where the bus stop is, but on an e-scooter, I get off where I want to get off. Mm. I drop it off, yeah. that's it, I don't have to think about it again. I think the e-scooters should be banned completely because they are a danger on the road and danger on the footpaths. Several companies operate rental schemes across England. Here in Bristol, the trial is run by the Swedish company Boy. The UK boss is Jack Samler. Can you just tell me why people are using them so much here? We have 3,000 scooters uh, on the streets today in Bristol, and it's been uh, enabled by a really close collaboration between us and the council working together. Mm -hmm. We've not only been able to scale in terms of lots and lots of vehicles on the streets, but also lots of parking spots, which just means the scheme is much more easy to use. But in the year up to the end of June 2022, 429 people were seriously injured and 12 killed in e-scooter collisions. Incidents like these put pressure on some local authorities to discontinue trials with concerns over safety and the misuse of e-scooters in areas including Staffordshire, Rochdale and Canterbury. The vast majority of trials have continued. Safety is our number one priority. Uh, so things like um, sound technology to help people... Because um, they're quiet, aren't they? They, they are quiet. Things like detection of uh, twin riding, which is when more than one person is on a scooter. We've already issued 28,000 warnings to customers involving several fines, and 600 users have been banned. In January, Stuart Johnson was hit by a delivery driver when riding a rented Voy e-scooter in Northampton. The lights turned green, I pulled off, and then the car behind me, he overtook me and then just turned straight across me. Yeah. And as I've landed, I've compacted and twisted my leg, which broke my tibia plateau. Ouch. Stuart spent nearly three weeks in hospital following operations to fix his leg. Is there anything that you could have done differently? Not really. Mm. I wasn't doing anything wrong. We arranged for Stuart to meet Jack from Voy to thrash out what can be done to make scootering safer. I'm very sorry for what you've been through. I think it's almost flipping it around to say, how do we invest in infrastructure, make our roads better, more cycle lanes? But, but that can't come from Voy. That's got that, to come exactly. from the local authority. Yeah. Road users need to be more aware of, of e-scooter riders. The more these become used, the more other road users will, will know to watch out for them. Shared e-scooters, as you know, have speed restrictions, they have restrictions on where they can and can't be ridden. There's onboarding uh, that you have to do as a user to prove that you're over 18 years old. I think if private e-scooters do get legalised, it has to be done on the same terms uh, as uh, shared e-scooters. The pilot schemes across England have been extended and are now due to end in May 2024. The Department for Transport told us that safety is its top priority and the e-scooter trials are designed to explore the best ways of protecting riders, pedestrians and vulnerable road users while exploring their benefits. And that outside the trials, e-scooters remain illegal to use on the road. Before I met Jack, uh, and a lot of people have asked me, would I go on an e-scooter again? And my answer was the straight no. But on reflection, you know, if we can see infrastructure improvements, Local authorities buying into the, to these recommendations and safety improvements. I don't see why not. I'm getting a bit old for them now, but I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> Age is but a number. Yeah, true. <laughs> Ah, thanks, Kev. It'll be interesting to see what happens when the trial's finished next year.